Number 8. Suicide Tree A study done by scientists in both India and France has found that a particular tree has killed many more people in Indian communities than a tree should be able to do. It's known as the suicide tree, or the Cerbera odalum, and it is used by more people to commit suicide than any other plant. With more than 500 documented cases of fatal Cerbera poisoning between 1989 and 1999 in southern India alone, half of the poisonings in the state are attributed to the plant, with 1 in 10 being fatal. As shocking as that is, researchers believe that because poisonings are hard to identify, the true number of deaths could be twice as high. When scientists set out to determine the real numbers, they used something called high-performance liquid chromatography, which allowed them to examine bodies during autopsies for traces of the plant. The kernels of the tree are said to have a bitter taste and contain a heart toxin that's very easy to disguise in spicy foods. This, coupled with the discovery of the toxins during the autopsies, led researchers to conclude that some deaths logged as suicides may have actually been murders. Shockingly, one-third of Siberia victims are women, with some believing the plant was being used to kill younger girls whose families believed they were not living up to their strict standards. That's a little harsh. In the 19th century, a number of people died after consuming the baseball-sized fruit in the tree in something dubbed a trial by ordeal, where they were forced to do so after being accused of practicing witchcraft. Well, at least that sounds a little better than being burned at the stake. In more modern times, women who feel pressure to live up to specific standards have been known to eat the plant, sometimes in suicide packs as was the case for a group of young women in 2012 who had been caught cutting classes and feared punishment. That's a little dramatic. Whether it's by choice, a mistake, or as an extreme way to deal with outside pressures, the fruit of the suicide tree has a deadly reputation, one that has sadly taken many lives. Number 7. Bunya with so many poisonous, dangerous animals found in Australia, there is a running joke that the continent is secretly trying to kill all visitors. It may sound silly, but now it seems like even the plant life is trying to get in on the action. One particular plant, called the bunya pine, is known for its huge cones that have delicious seeds inside. But the evergreens can also be dangerous, with cones as big as a bowling ball that could seriously harm someone if they were standing underneath it when it falls. Originally from Queensland, the pine trees were around way back during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. So did they develop these huge cones to feed the dinosaurs or to injure them? Sometimes reaching heights of up to 150 feet with a 49-foot spread and a 4-foot trunk, the trees have deep furrows that make them look similar to the legs of an elephant or a dinosaur. They also have short, spiked leaves that can be very painful if they happen to come into contact with one's skin. This plant definitely didn't want anyone poking around near it, but the bunya pine's cones are the real showstoppers. Weighing up to 15 pounds, they look similar to pineapples, but they aren't so sweet when they come crashing down on the ground or on top of your head. If you manage to avoid being hit by one of the dropping cones, you'll be in for a fruitful reward. <laughs> Each cone holds about 50 to 150 nuts hidden inside the husks, but you'll need to pack some patience or a nutcracker or hammer to get inside. When you do though, you'll be compensated with tasty seeds that can be roasted or eaten whole or ground into flour. This is a special tree to the Aboriginal people. The bunya pine is considered a sacred plant, so even though they can live up to 600 years and can pack a wallop if the cones happen to hit you on the head when passing underneath, they are a lasting example of prehistoric life still existing to this day. Just keep your eyes to the sky if you happen to be near one of these ancient trees. Number 6. Sandbox Tree if you thought the spiked trunk was the most dangerous part of the sandbox tree, think again. This member of the Spurge family produces a fruit that might look like a small, innocent pumpkin, but it packs a punch. And that punch is one that could seriously injure anyone who happens to be standing nearby when the fruit falls to the ground and quite literally explodes. When they are fully mature, the fruits of the sandbox tree aren't all that different from a shrapnel-filled bomb that bursts with a loud bang. 
When these fruits fall, they fling their hardened seeds around at speeds up to 150 miles per hour. Spreading some 60 feet, they can make victims of unsuspecting nature lovers who have the unfortunate coincidence of standing too close. They're native to South America in the Amazonian rainforest. The trees have also been introduced to Tanzania and East Africa, where they have become so widespread that they are now considered an invasive species. Their explosive fruit is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the dangers of the sandbox tree. The fruit is also poisonous and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and cramps to anyone who eats it. Their sap can also cause a severe rash that can make you go blind if it gets in your eye. Just in case that doesn't convince you to stay clear, the tree is so poisonous, the sap is often used to make poison darts. Even though there are some medicinal uses for the sap, including treatments for skin diseases and intestinal worms, the trees themselves are just too dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Number five, manchineal tree. It might seem a little crazy that a tree can kill you with just one touch, but the machineal tree is one whose fruit gets the nickname Little Apple of Death, and it is indeed very deadly. That bad reputation can be blamed on the lethal toxins found in pretty much every part of the tree. The milky sap can cause serious allergic reactions, and don't think you can get rid of this dangerous tree by burning it down. Once set on fire, the smoke of the machineal can cause eye injuries. Well, isn't that nice? And calling the fruit a poisoned apple isn't too far off. It's also sometimes known as beach apple or poison guava. Ingesting the fruit can cause internal bleeding, shock bacterial infections, and can also comprise one's airway, making it extremely difficult to breathe. It's no surprise that the tree's nickname in Spanish is Arbol de la Muerte, which literally means tree of death. Native in the Caribbean, Florida, Bahamas, Mexico, and Central and South America, the trees are often found in swampy areas where the mangroves grow. Similar to the sandbox tree, Carib Indians, indigenous people of the Lesser Antilles in the Caribbean, were known to use the sap for poison darts. Although they may add a perfectly tropical look, steer clear of the manchineal tree if you know what's good for you. Have you ever seen one of these trees? If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number four, hemlock. If you've read any murder mysteries, you've probably heard about the hemlock plant. A member of the same family as carrots and parsnips, the wild plant found scattered throughout England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. And yes, it is lethal. It only takes a few drops to poison a small animal. Not to be mistaken for the hemlock tree, which is in the pine family and not deadly at all, poison hemlock was once used for medicinal purposes, including a sedative. So it makes sense that it would show up in everything from murder mysteries written by Agatha Christie, plays by William Shakespeare, to Hollywood movies. A noxious weed that germinates throughout the year, the five-petaled flowers are umbrella-shaped with a purple flower in the center of the cluster. Symptoms of ingesting poison hemlock can show up in as little as 30 minutes. And eating the plant isn't the only way to feel its effects. It can be toxic to the skin and can cause serious health risks if it gets into anyone's respiratory system. Dizziness, trembling, a slowed heartbeat, and paralysis are all signs you've come into contact with the plant and one can even go into respiratory failure if they've been exposed. It's a large plant that can grow from three to eight feet tall. Their leaves look similar to a fern with small clusters of white flowers. Even though they look nice, with the plant often being mistaken for Queen Anne's lace, it's best to just enjoy them from afar to avoid any nasty side effects. Number three, deadly milky mangroves. If you didn't know that the milky mangrove is highly poisonous, its nicknames might clue you in to just how dangerous it can be. Sometimes called blind your eye mangrove or blinding tree, the plant, mostly found in tropical mangrove forests, can cause permanent eye damage if you just so happen to come into contact with it. It's usually found growing in West India and Australia. The tree has various chemical defenses, one of which is a milky latex it produces that can be a powerful irritant and is very, very poisonous, even causing rapid blistering in some cases. It can grow up to 50 feet tall. The tree has small, dark, capsule-shaped fruit, and its leaves are often dried and used to poison fish or in darts. 
When the plant's branches or leaves are broken, they exude their milky sap, which is to be avoided at all costs if you want to prevent serious harm. But not all of the milky mangroves are toxic. The wood is often used to make incense and sometimes used to make canoes. Even though the sap is very dangerous, it has even been used to treat ulcerous diseases like leprosy, and its roots are used to treat toothaches and swellings. But I'm not sure I want to take that risk with my dentist. Even though it's not all bad, even handling the leaves or fruit can put your health at risk. So it might be best to leave the milky mangrove deep in the freshwater swamps or at the edge of the other mangrove forests where it belongs. Number two, yew tree. Take a walk through any neighborhood and you'll most likely certainly spot a yew tree. But to those who know that pretty much every part of the yew tree is extremely toxic, it might make you wonder why it's such a popular plant. There are various species of yew tree, including the Canada yew, an evergreen shrub that can reach heights up to six feet tall. The yew produces cup-shaped berries that have small brown seeds inside. Even though the flesh of the berry is the only part of the yew that isn't poisonous, the seeds happen to be the most poisonous part, so you probably shouldn't take any bites. Inside the seeds, a deadly alkaloid called taxine is lurking, just waiting for an unsuspecting animal or uneducated human to eat them. For any unlucky soul who does, they'll endure trembling, staggering, weakness, vomiting, and low blood pressure. And that's only if you're lucky. Sometimes there are no symptoms at all. That is, until your heart stops, but by then it's too late. Livestock have often fallen victim to the poisonous berries, with many documented reports of cattle, horses, and sheep consuming the berries only to die a short time later. There is one bright side of this dangerous plant. Researchers have developed an anti-cancer drug from the bark of the Pacific variety of the yew tree. So although certain varieties do have some beneficial properties and it might look nice as a hedge or accent in your garden, you'd better steer clear of those enticing red berries. Number one, Angel's Trumpet. You'd think you wouldn't have to worry about toxins with a plant named Angel's Trumpet, but the pale, bell-shaped flowers can not only give one scary hallucinations, they can induce a terrifying zombie-like state. Common in the UK, the wildflower has recently been linked to several deaths in the United States by curious teens who thought eating the flowers would give them a psychedelic trip to remember. Sadly, the only trip that they took was to the hospital. The toxins attack the central nervous system. The flowers, which are a member of the deadly nightshade family, remember from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally used this to make poison? It produces various symptoms like fever, delirium, agitation, memory disturbances, convulsions, and even death. Sometimes coming into contact with this flower is seemingly harmless. One report from a woman in California occurred when she was doing a bit of gardening. After deciding to trim back her burgeoning angel's trumpet bush, she went inside to wash her hands. Unfortunately, not realizing the plant was toxic, she rubbed one of her eyes. It wasn't long after that that her pupils became fully dilated and she lost sight in her eyes after accidentally exposing herself to the plant's toxins. Sadly, with no treatment for the poisoning, she had to wait for the effects of the plant to subside before she recovered. Seeing how easily one can feel the flower is proof that by taking care and wearing protective gear like goggles and gloves, poisoning can be prevented. They may smell nice and they may look quite harmless, but the angel's trumpet is both beautiful and dangerous. Thanks for watching. Are there any other deadly plants you want to know about? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.